I was sharing with you uh, the matter of being taken and groomed for a sacrificial offering by my aunt within the space of two weeks of my birth, as was revealed to me by Revelation. And so it came to the point of me now being almost 70 years of age. Before the Mashiach, before Al Hayyam revealed to me what had gone on in my early beginnings to allow me to be able to escape the breakings that I've suffered, the torture, sheer torture that I was enduring under my aunt and her. Um, warlock Turks Island partner. So I, I, I came to the place where it, the, the, the father, the Rawak, made me realize, as he said, as he says in, in his word, that vengeance is mine and I will repay. So it is not for me and you as individuals to avenge ourselves in the matter uh, suggestive of a need to right um, a certain type of wrong. For instance, the historical facts of what has been done to us as a people you and I are not able to write that. We, can, we can't make up for that. We can be displeased about it, yes. Vehemently displeased. But we, we, can't, we, can't, we can't make it good. That's in the hands of the Most High, of al Hayyam. And um, we are told in the scripture, can't find it for you right now, that... Um, the Most High is the one we can pay vengeance to his enemies and our enemies. So yeah, I have come, I come to the place now in a matter of only about a week now, something like that, that um, I had to come to grips. And it really was no, no big thing for me, you know. I had to come to the realization that forgiveness is a very necessary part of our walk towards wholeness and um, having taken the step of forgiveness uh, there are folks around me who's saying that I look quite a lot different now that I have taken that step to exercise forgiveness a serious load has lifted up from off of me is now in the, in the master's hand. And so my healing has begun from 68 years approximately past. I am now on the way to really becoming whole. Even though you heard me in my delivery of the, the word of the Most High, gave me that authority. And so even though they had me under cruel, destructive bondage, Rowak did his thing in allowing me to speak on the behalf of Mashiach, Mosai. He did a wonderful thing with me, if I may say so, and allowed me to deliver his word, for which all all the principal people of the nations have decided that they want to they want to fulfill the Masonic order to have me for a sacrifice. And this is what has been going on for several years now. You see? 
But give thanks to the Most High. You got me growing. I'm growing now. I'm released from that that situation of terror, pain, plenty of pain, two open heart surgery, and and um, a tractor accident. And I'll share more of later on. Um, involved with also the loss of my education and a whole lot more. No, no, um, no real, uh, how should I put it? Life in, in terms of having a relationship with, with, with a woman, a female. I had, I had a couple, but they were nowhere near what a relationship could be and, and should have been. I was really hampered. And so now I'm on the way to recovery. Can you imagine at my age now, approximately 68, I'm only now beginning to grow up. <laughs> it's a tough, it's a tough um, road, but um, I am up, up for the challenge with the Mashiach and the Ruach on our side. We have to do this mission. And uh, we're now moving on to our delivery that the heathen have been uh, diametrically opposed to. And uh, they, they, they're offering to us a return into the same brutality of slavery that we suffered already. That's what they're offering us and trying to make us homosexual men. Homosexual men, get that. Yeah, what they try it. And lesbian women. That's what they're on their agenda because they are not satisfied that we are sufficiently broken in their way of thinking. We ha haven't been sufficiently broken that we could be these faggots running around the place and lesbians running around the place. This is the agenda that we hear, especially, I should say, in the Bahamas, where as the gateway to the New World, portions of all the tribes are here in the Bahamas. You got that. So this is how the, the gateway has been set up with a portion of all the tribes. And therefore, the Levite coming in as the anti-Messiah tribe, they situated themselves in North Abaco and were working their thing from there. So the Mashiach wiped them out and stormed Dorian to give us a reprieve to further examine who they are and what they were about. So here we are now trying to escape the Sephiroth tree that has been committed to Levi, whether or not he, as a priest, they have a lot of knowledge, I guarantee you that. Uh, as a priest, uh, he might have known of the Sephiroth tree, I guess should have known, um, but coming in with the Catholic Church and Edom, they encouraged Simon, I suppose, according to the prophecy, they knew the prophecy and they knew who it was that the prophecy was concerning. And so they helped him, assisted him in coming into his place of prominence as the anti-Mashiach for the whole earth, but principally for the three tribes, the tribe of Yehawada, Banyamian, and themselves, Levi. And so, I was saying before and say again now that the Levite brothers in Haiti principally are uh, in serious, um, serious plight. And those young ones in particular who are trying, who are fighting desperately to not be bound 
to the, the oath of becoming anti-Mashiach, they are having a time. And so I'm encouraging all the brethren, all, all Yasha Allah, all in the diaspora, with particular emphasis on Yahawada, the three principal tribes that we pray for and seek the deliverance of those brethren in Levi, so that again, these three principal tribes can come together, um, being disconnected. And I believe the part, the, um, the, the Feast of Atonement that is coming up is a pivotal one, one for us. I believe it's very pivotal for us. Um, by way of our Mashiach breaking us away, dislo dislocating us from the, 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 the Levite agenda as the principal three tribes, Yahawada, Banyaman, and Levi. I believe this feast that is coming up of atonement will be a pivotal one in deciding where we stand as a nation, whether or not we will decide with those who are um, seriously fighting against the messiahship of our Mashiach, that he was born of a virgin. Those who have been fighting against that, I believe this atonement time coming up is the place where you're gonna have to make a decision. Uh, of who the Mashiach is, whether you're gonna accept as it is written. I know many of you have taken the position you, you took because you feel like Esau might have corrupted the text. Esau has corrupted many texts. We can say that, you know, we can easily see that and see that. But um, the one concerning the birth of the Mashiach is right on target. I, I, I think they might have been afraid to, to touch that one. That is on target. And that is who the Mashiach is, directly as it is written. And you brothers and sisters, this is the time of your awakening now in this feast of atonement. You better get it right because as, as the atonement shows that a decision is being made on the behalf of the sacrificial offering to the Most High and the turning over of the sins of the nation onto the scapegoat, that is the Baphomet, Satan. And we got to get it right. Uh, uh, I mean, you know, if you don't get it right, well, you'll have it left. And um, that'll be a bad, bad position to be in. But those of us who understand, we have to do the sacrifice of confessing our sins and allowing the Mashiach offload them away from us, off of us, onto the scapegoat. Now you know we are in. I am strongly convinced that this is the position we are in. And so this atonement period, extreme, in Yahawada, who is the leading tribe, we have to decide to set the tone, set the pace for the rest of our brethren, the tribes, to walk in truth and the understanding of who the Mashiach is, what his place is among us and how we ought to relate to him. We have been, as I said already, we have been locked down with our brother Levi 
in the three principal tribes, we have been locked down under his agenda of aspiration. And um, the word is uh, getting away from me now. His, let's say his, his agreement to be the anti sire against the Father's agenda and the Mashiach. This is where we have, be, have to be dislocated from. I'm speaking to, to principally the tree tribes, but all, all the tribes in general from that affiliation with our brother Levi in the anti-Messiahship, we have to come clean with our relationship with the Most High. Serious atonement coming up. That our sin of rejection and all the other ones that we have committed must be confessed and transferred. Satan gets the load that he needs to get on him, that it can be taken away from the true children of Yasha Allah. In principle, Yahawada with the three tribes, so that we can inclaim our brethren and Levi along with us, Banyan and Yahawada itself. Then we can come together as one, as the leadership of the 12 tribes, and bring our other brethren along. Again, we have been locked down in the Sephirothal tree of Amon Ra. This is where we have been having the greatest hurdle among the three tribes. Principal tribes that were brought out of Africa in the last few hundred years to be slaves under Esau. So now you know. Let's prepare for atonement coming up. Let's do let's do soul searching that we need to do. Get it right, brothers and sisters. Um, that we could um, move on. We need to move on from this erroneous and diabolical connection to our brothers, the Levites, who have defected. We have to break that connection, sever our relationship with Levi in that regard. And those who, who of us who are severed in that way, we come together and form the nucleus of the principal tribes of Yahawada, Banyamian, Levi. So we got to pray for our brothers in Levi and encourage them, you know, send some strength. All right. <clears throat> we have the situation of the killer cops in the US slaughtering our brothers Yahweh in the North, North American con continent. Um, see, they, they are principally concerned with their, their um, agenda of a covenant with Satan. The covenant was that they should not be straight out men and women, but that they should be homosexuals and lesbians. And this they have been endeavoring to pass on, especially to the principal tree tribes. And so this, this is where their ambivalence, their scorn and hatred is, is, is um, 
pointed to these three principal tribes. Uh, um, they know what they have done to them in slavery and the programs they have put together to subvert them and take them out of the nature of, of um, the real Hebrew Yashalites. They want to corrupt that nature. And they had 400 years to do it. Couldn't get it done. And I think somewhere in the book of Isaiah says that except Mosiah had left us a remnant, we should all be like unto Sodom and Gomorrah. This is the reference that the prophet is making to this time of slavery and, and the, the weight of it, except the Most High had been gracious to preserve a remnant of men and women. We would all have been sodomites and lesbians. And this is what, this is what you hear them talking about on the North American continent with their, their um, agenda. And here in the Bahamas, they want another time because they want to perfect that diabolical, disgusting program to make us, they're concerned with us, Yasha Allah, to make the men into girls, girls into boys. That's what they were onto with the COVID-19 situation. But the father turned it up on them so much. There is no dispute now who is the owner of the COVID-19. This day, the father has exposed them for who they are. Demons, despicable devils, God-wrenching haters of the Most High and his people. Now you know what the agenda is in terms of male and female. You know what the agenda is. You know where and how to set your battlements and your battle strategy. This past, this um, um, Feast of Atonement, as I was saying, very pivotal for us. We got to know who the Mashiach is and acknowledge him and his program. All right. Um, So, in the book of Daniel, Daniel 8 and 14, and he said unto me, unto 200, or oh, sorry, and he said unto me, unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. You might remember, brethren, that in the circle of our, for some of us, our former friends, the Adventists, their leadership um, nearly a couple hundred years ago, I think, the time was 1844 for them, when they say that they had a great disappointment. And um, another brother, Banyamian and myself, we call it the time of the great foolishness when they were seeking to build a, um, um, what, do you, what do you call it, um, atonement theory called the cleansing of the sanctuary. Um, I believe I am able to say confidently that the idea wasn't wrong, wrong in itself. But the people who were trying to expose the idea, who were trying to bring it to the salvation of Christians, they were devil's man, they were seeking, they were seeking a, a further depth of knowledge to cut you down some more. But it then wasn't the time. 
That, that was the false cleansing of the sanctuary that they were looking at. And so those who are still in the Adventist whore, whore faith, you got to know it now. That was the wrong timing for the message of sanctuary cleansing. I'm giving it to you now that at this atonement coming up, this is the place and time for that revelation that they were trying to get and preempt and use it to save face for themselves to further afflict punishment on us. I say to you that this atonement coming up is the one where the sanctuary is going to be cleansed. Where you're going to know who the Mashiach is and acknowledge him as such that he can take care of our problem. That he can take care of our affiliation with the anti-Messiah who is our brother, Levi. And disconnect us from him. That we could be the true, the true leaders of the nation. And you know, help our brethren along. Remember what I said. This is a pivotal time of atonement for us. We're going to, uh, we're going to acknowledge who the Mashiach is or not acknowledge who he is, but those who will not acknowledge, acknowledge who he is will be cut off. And those who acknowledge who he is will be added to the privilege of having themselves disconnected officially from the haters of Yashara who have determined to fight against the sovereignty of Mosai. I mean, how could you fight against someone who created the sun and the moon and the stars? And all? Could, what chance are you, do you have to fight against that, that, that power, that individual? But this is what the heathens have done. And Yasha Allah has been caught up in it, partly owing to the brutality done upon our three principal tribes that was brought out of Africa to be slaves here in the new world. Pivotal time of atonement coming up. We got to get it right, brothers and sisters. And so this, this time of this period, as, as, as I was saying, I wanted you to understand that there was the corruption that brought the Adventist faith the disappointment that they had, that this sanctuary cleansing was in reference to the Hebrews, the Hebrew Yashalites, that were brought into slavery. And in that time of being away out of their culture and um, nearness to the Most High, they lost it. Most of them lost it. Two thirds according to the, to the writings. They lost it. They, they def defected. All of them, de that, that, that crew, defected as Levi has himself defected from the, pri the priesthood to become the anti-Messiah. And this is where we were locked down to as the tribe, the three principal tribes. That's where we were locked down to Esau's commitment as Levi, one of the principal three tribes, being defected under the anti messiahship And we were affected by that. We have to confess and break away from that. And in this atonement, we got to do it in recognition of, in recognizing, in recognition of who the Mashiach is. Um, Yes, we are now officially warned to leave the great foolishness of the Adventists. And um, remember, remember, 
a, a tone is concerned with the confession and forsaking of sins. And um, maybe I could say, what better time than at this juncture in our history, now understanding who the anti shiak is, and it's coming out of our people, out of Levi. We who are the principal tribes who have been fought against by the Edomite, um, oh, by the Edomites, we who have been under their brutality for so long. Now, now we could understand better why they are so arrogant in their denouncement of reparations for us, because they had us. They had us locked under their control through Banyamian. You see? And so now with this understanding, we can release ourselves from that bondage so that the Mashiach can stand up on our behalf and have us receive our reparations in time to be transferred out of here to our place. Uh, uh, otherwise, if you're left with, with Esau, you have everybody speaking, speaking differently. Uh, boys as girls and girls as, as boys. <laughs> We can't allow that. We, we are not to allow that. We, we won't allow that. So, brothers and sisters, um, we pray you think about to it. And uh, I think you understand now what the principal three tribes and the rest of the twelve of nation unto the Most High, Yahweh, Allah and Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahoshua, you know the names that you call, our relationship. This is a time of healing.